Well, hello everyone and welcome to the college football edition of ProLine. It's week three in college football, already <coughs> loaded with surprises, upsets, and key injuries. I'm John Cranton in Las Vegas, joined by Jeff Saad. He runs Las Vegas Sports Services. We're going to take a look at three college football games, a Pac-12 rivalry game on Saturday, and then a pair of SEC Saturday showdowns. Before we get to that, let's go through what we did over the previous <coughs> weekend. Jim Feist off a 13-6 and run Saturday and Sunday with all players. That includes six and one with this $500 high roller selections. If you want to get aboard, you can call the number on your screen. And Jeff, you really enjoyed a perfect NFL Sunday as well as an eight and two weekend overall. And you've got a special coming up for this weekend. Yeah, it was a great week. Four and oh in the, in the NFL, uh, four and two in college football, including that Friday night win with a cover with Utah State. And on Saturday had a 20 star winner with Iowa, best bet with uh, uh, Colorado State. <clears throat> they almost blew it in overtime, but they, they came through for me. And then on Sunday, my top play was New York Jets, and then I topped it off with a win with the cover with the Giants on Sunday night. This week, I'm gonna give you a $500 value for only 25 bucks as my blockbuster play. You'll get it for only 25 bucks. Just call one 344 2000 call the number on your screen, ask for LVSS, get a $500 value for only 25 bucks this week. All right, let's get into our first game for Saturday. It's a Pac-12 rivalry game, Stanford heading to LA to play USC. The betting number here opened Stanford about nine, nine and a half, and some of the early money has come on on USC, pushing it up the double digits of 10, unusual for a rivalry game here. In fact, uh, Stanford won last year, oh no, I'm sorry, USC won last year's game, but it was very close, 13 to 10 in the defensive battle. USC was a plus three dog and won that game, although Stanford had a significant edge in yards, 413 to 291, but USC played better than you might think with those numbers because they had 156 yards rushing to pull the upset, and now they're coming home for this one. Stanford, though, has actually been a cover machine of late behind that great defense, 17 and eight against the spread in September. They're also 18 and five under the total run. Supposed to have a pretty good team coming into this season because you got a senior quarterback <coughs> in Kevin Hogan. This team is already one and one, and they did not win their only other road game and that was a bad one at Northwestern. They lost 16 to six. They got out gained 330 to 240. And what was supposed to be a pretty good ground game was terrible. 85 yards rushing against Northwestern, just 3.1 yards per carry. And the, the, they also gave up three sacks, very disappointing. So this here is their second road game. Jeff, you got a key injury too to the Stanford defense. I mean, uh, uh, are they, are they gonna be able to hang with the USC team that looks much better than a year ago? Yeah. Uh I'm leaning toward USC in this game. Stanford, of course, is the offense that about face after that uh, terrible showing in Northwestern. Uh, I know USC might be having a down year this year, but still it was pretty impressive. Kevin Hogan had three TD passes, and uh, freshman running back there, Bryce Love, uh, caught two passes for a combined 135 yards. Hogan was 17 of 29 for a career high 341 yards and no picks. Uh, the Cardinal defense allowed a total of only 181 yards. Uh, they've only allowed 23 points in two games now combined. It's a Cardinal offense that I'm, even though they look good, they, they're only averaging 3.2 yards per carry, and they had some drop passes. Uh, they were, uh, and the team was penalized uh, 12 times, 137 yards. They're going to need some offense against SC. The, uh, the Trojans are, won the first two games by combining 114 to, to 15. Uh, it was against Arkansas State and Idaho, but after Saturday, that Arkansas State win looks, looks a little more impressive because the Red Wolves gave uh, Missouri all they could handle on, on Saturday. Uh, uh, the Trojans are averaging 6.8 yards per carry. Cody Kessler's completing 79% of his passes. As you said, these teams usually play close games. Last year, uh, SC won 13 to 10. The year before that, USC won 20 to 17. And in 2012, Stanford won 21 to 14. But I'm still a little concerned about this Stanford offense, plus all those penalties. And uh, SC is on a roll right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay the points. I'm, it's not gonna be a big play, but I'll lean toward SC here minus the points, John. Yeah, this Southern Cal team really doesn't have any weaknesses. You get Cody Kessler, who's off this season as a junior a year ago, 39 touchdowns, five interceptions. Here he is, his senior season, playing exceptionally well, leading these two blowouts. So we're gonna see this kid in the NFL draft coming up in April and May. Uh, but also this USC defense is playing exceptionally well. A lot of talent that finally over all those suspensions that they had from the last couple of years, which also prevented them from being in bowl consideration. And that really affected the USC defense more than anything else. And we're starting to see the defense get better with depth. So that's the way I'm gonna look at this game. USC can do whatever it wants on offense, but I suspect they're gonna be able to run the football 
and do it fairly well like they did a year ago with 156 yard rushing. Stanford, generally speaking, is a ball control offense with this quarterback in Kevin Hogan. I suspect they're going to do that again. They're going to try to play a physical defense, which they do. And just look at the last two games between these teams. USC won two years ago, 20 to 17, and then last year's game was even less scoring, 13 to 10. These have been defensive, physical slugfests in the trenches. Stanford is 3-1-1 one, and one against the spread when they face USC. The only non-cover was a year ago. And USC, as you mentioned, hey, they've been tough at home. 10-4 and four spread run here at the Coliseum. However, they're also 8-3 and three under the total in September play. And that's the way I want to look at this one. A defensive battle uh, between these teams, Stanford and USC, on Saturday. All right, before we get to the SEC, a couple of big Saturday games. Uh, if you want to get free picks via text every day or to a free recorded message you can go to jimwins.com and jim has a free daily sports report check it out